Hiya, it's Andrea. Welcome to Healthy Lifestyle Over 40. I'm Andrea and I like to help women with their hormone imbalances um, so they can look good and feel good inside and out. Today I wanted to come on and have a chat with you about um, body fat and um, it being an issue during perimenopause and menopause. Um, and a lot of women feel like they're trapped in their own bodies and they can't get rid of this belly fat and it just seems to have just accumulated overnight. They're woken up and it's just, where's all this fat come from? They just suddenly realise that they're not, just can't budget, it's just stuck. Um, it's rather frustrating, isn't it? And you just, in your 20s and your 30s, um, it's a lot easier for you to, to lose weight um, because your, your estrogen and your progesterone levels are much higher. So when you're going into perimenopause and your hormones are up and down and fluctuating all the time, and going into menopause, you start noticing the weight's creeping on or you just suddenly realise that you've put lots of weight on, even though that you're eating healthily, you know, you're not eating lots of refined sugary food, you're not eating lots of bad foods and you're, and you're really paying attention to what you're eating and you're exercising. Um, okay, you know, you, you, you work exercising regularly, but it's just not having any effect at all. Um, and it's all down to our hormones and it's really frustrating because a lot of women can be like eating the same thing as a man is. A man's staying at a steady weight, he's able to lose weight easily and he's fit and he's great, he looks lean. And you're just thinking, well, why, why isn't that happening to me? Um, because men don't have hormones like us, unfortunately. That's why it's so frustrating, I know. It's, um, and as you're getting older, your metabolism's slowing down, you're losing your muscle mass much quicker, um, you're more sensitive to stress, because your body's going under a bit of stress anyway during perimenopause and menopause, because your hormones are fluctuating so much, your body's feeling a bit stressed out because it can't keep, it's trying to keep up. Um, and so this is why you need to you need to look at what you're eating, how you're living your life, your exercise and things like that, um, your mindset, what you're thinking about yourself. All these four areas can really be, play a big part in your maintaining your weight and your fat that's accumulating around your body as you're getting older during perimenopause, especially over the age of 40 as well. And lots of younger women can have problems with hormone imbalances as well. And, and that can be down to all these four areas that are not balanced and there's something not quite right. Because um, it could just take a few tweaks here and there just to make a few little changes for someone to look at that. And was high, high, I help women every day to tweak what they're doing, just make a few little changes here and there. Things that they've probably not even realised before. Working with them to, to maintain the weight, to build muscle and, and to feel much better, have more energy and the symptoms are dramatically reduced as well. Um, so what's happening in your body during perimenopause is, you know, the, you're, you're more prone to um, sensitive to stress levels and stress levels can be anything, can be dietary stress, stress that's happening in your life, you're not happy with yourself is a stress, what you're eating can be a stress on your body and perimenopause is a stress in itself. So we have to pay attention to try and control stress levels to keep the metabolism going, to keep the metabolism high. Because when you're highly stressed all the time, your body wants to hold on to fat all the time. It's, it's just a survival mechanism. It's helping to keep you alive because you need energy to run away from danger. And because you're highly stressed, your body's thinking that you're in danger all the time. It's also putting sugar into your blood all the time. So you're more prone to store that fat rather than burn it because you've got sugar in your blood all the time. Just in case you need to run away from that danger, you need that extra energy. So you're more sensitive to sugar as well so you can put more weight on because you're sensitive to sugar so if you can cut back on your sugary foods it will make a big difference in your weight in your fat loss and reducing your stress levels will really help with your fat loss as well um you like to say metabolism slowing down so we need to keep that metabolism high um you can start incorporating to eat more protein in your diet <clears throat> and eating more of the good carbohydrates instead of the refined ones like lots of breads, pastas, pizzas, pastries, things like that. 
um, the one thing you don't want to be doing is eating steak pie and chips with lots of gravy on it most nights. Um, that's not going to do your body any good at all. It's not going to give you the building blocks it needs to build a strong body. It's not going to give you um, the nutrients that your body needs to cope with this stress that's going on during perimenopause. Um, and I talk about this a lot in my book. I've just released my book. My first book is called The Perimenopause Handbook. And, and I talk a lot about um, estrogen and metabolism and your symptoms, some herbs and supplements that can help. And I've got some recipes at the back that can really help you to get your um, hormones under control and get your body back to burning that fat again, getting your body strong, getting your body muscles strong, which will really, really help. If you want more help at all with any of this, um, please get in touch. Um, let's have a chat together and a coffee um, and we can chat how I can help you. I can put up some meal plans together for you, the foods that you like, some exercise uh, suggestions and just tweak some things that you might be doing that's just not quite working for you. Um, if you want to comment below, um, I'm going to put a link below where you can go to my website to book a call with me. Um, if you also want a copy of my book, um, please comment below um, and I just need, to, I need your email address so I can send you an email on how to buy a copy. I've got special price at the moment for anybody living in the UK, $10.99 with free, um, free delivery. Um, if you're living in Europe, um, there's a charge of £4 for delivery and you can buy it in America and if you live in Australia or America, it's available on Amazon.com. And it's available on Booktopia as well, if you live in Australia, um, to save on postage charges that way. Um, so if you want to copy my book, please let me know. Uh, thanks for watching my video today. I'll catch you again in another video. If you want to subscribe to my channel, that'd be great. Um, share this video with your friends. They're struggling with perimenopause symptoms as well. Um, if you press the bell when you subscribe to me, um, that will tell you when I post more videos. Um, so don't be frustrated with perimenopause. It can be not a very nice time at all for some women. And it can be quite fearful if you don't know what's going on inside your body. So I hope that my videos are really helping you to get to grips with what's going on in your body dur during perimenopause and menopause. Um, and it's putting your mind at ease. I've had a lot of comments from you, so keep the comments coming. Um, and if there's anything in particular that you want me to talk about, please let me know in the comments below and I'll do a video for you if you want to know more about it. So take care of yourself and I'll see you again soon. Bye.